oh, it's another evening, another swan. Uh, back down at the waterworks, as you can see, as all the swans are waiting for an evening snack. And in the van, I'm just going to go here, and we've got. A little signet and here we are so this little guy a little girl actually doesn't matter size she's quite small um she was found on the shore road out at Kai Fergus today and um the uh police managed to get her into a garden along with some members of the public and the lovely homeowners kept her nice and safe which is fantastic so thank you to the police and the homeowners for keeping her safe and we popped over and picked her up and um, she's uh, ready to go back into the wild again. So we're going to pop her over into the water here. Um, obviously she's from Craig Fergus. The chances are she's probably one of the signets from the family who are behind the leisure centre in the mill pond. And um, this time of year, as you know, we're, we're always saying it every year, the adults do want rid of the signets. They start to chase them off or a lot of signets will actually just instinctively know they have to go somewhere. So they leave. And uh, this one, unfortunately, ended up on the middle of the carriageway and uh, was very lucky it didn't end up getting hit by a vehicle. But thankfully, there's nothing wrong with it. And this is as good a place as anyway to bring it to the waterworks. There's a lot of juveniles here, a lot of bachelors, widowers, non-breeding birds and so on. So she'll have a good time here. She can sit here for a year or two and uh, get her bearings, maybe find a mate. You never know. So we'll pop her into the water now. So it's very busy this evening. And uh, oh, let's see. Oh. oh, sorry about that. Just had loads of lorries and vans all coming down the road. So, right, we're gonna get you out of here. Right, come on, you. Let me get a hold of you. Oh, come here. Right, there we go, sweetheart. There we go. Right, come on. Let's go. Go. I'm gonna take you back into the water. Here we go. Right. I'm gonna go into the water. Why does my camera not want to focus here? Hello, swans. Look. There's a little friend. Right. Yeah. yeah. Come on, take a leap up. Up in the water. Off you go. Big jump. Up. <laughs> here you go. Got a wee bag of bird seed here for them as well, so we'll give them some food. Hello. Want to say hello? Hi. What? Right, we'll get you some food. Come on. Let me see. Here we go. Let me see if I can put this phone up here somewhere. I can sit that up there. Wait for a second. Well, that's it. Good night, Dad. Right. Give me some food. Give me some food. Everybody, a bit of food for the evening. There we go. Oh, <laughs> well, there we go. Another one away. Some of our lovely swans at the waterworks. And well, there's our little rescued one. She's just yeah, having a little drink. Oh, she'll make lots of new friends soon, which is good. does not end there. 
So uh, this is now Monday, um, following week from taking this little guy over to the Belfast Waterworks. And unfortunately it decided not to stay in the bottom pond, that's usually where they do stay. So there's a lot of cygnets, uh, non-breeding juvenile birds, there's widowers, bachelors, things like that. Um, birds that haven't paired up yet. And they usually spend a few years down there before they instincts kick in and they decide to find a mate and move off and find their own waterway. Um, this little one was put there just last week and unfortunately decided that it was going to trespass on the top lake and the resident birds didn't take too kindly to it. Um, unfortunately he was chased up into the little stream and up onto the bridge and um, thanks to our brilliant friend and helper Sean um, uh, on the Antrim Road, he's always picking up spawns for us. And between Sean and the council chaps, they managed to get the bird out from underneath the bridge. Um, she was quite tightly wedged in from what we heard, but they got her out. Um, so it just seems that that's just not going to be the ideal spot for her. Um, we really hoped it would be. So um, we've brought her over to Loch Ney. Um, there's obviously a lot more swans over here, a lot more space. She's got room to go off and find herself a little group to stay with. Uh, there is a big group of resident sort of non-breeding swans near where we're releasing her here now. So, um, oh well, here we go. We're going to take her down to the loch. And it's a bit windy this evening. Um, you can see the water is uh, quite, quite rough. It's a bit windy. Um, but the water's very, very high as well. The amount of rain we've had over the last few weeks has obviously settled in the loch now. But we're going to take her down here and see how she goes. Ah, so just in case anybody's wondering actually how we know it is the same bird, um, obviously I put a ring on her at the time whenever we released her, and uh, so we know that it is the same girl. So first of all, I've got to get you over the gate here. I'm going to pause the video for a second. This, uh, this could be a little bit embarrassing. <laughs> there we go. Ah, don't know what happened there. I thought I'd hit record and I hit stop instead. So, um, just released onto the water there, and uh, got to make our way over the way here. Just having a bit of a feed first.